Hi, it's Virtual One Media, and uh, this is a tutorial, and uh, we're gonna be modeling this exhaust pipe. I in the, I t modeled this uh, on my own for 350Z, and I just made a quick render. As you can see, it's all in Chrome. Uh, we're gonna have two pipes. You can make one pipe if you want to. It doesn't really matter. Just two pipes look a little bit better. And uh, as you can see, insides are uh, sorted out as well, uh, and everything. You got one big large pipe coming out the end of it so I'm gonna be showing how to mold this and it's gonna be just a quick so it's not really hard on it, nothing so jump in 3ds max and uh, let's go to the front view go to the create shapes uh, on the splines and uh, create a circle something like so and uh, you wanna make one more circle so you wanna make two of them something like that you want to make a third circle as well, just in the middle, and uh, go to scale tool, and uh, just scale that out, something like that, and uh, there it is. You need you need to get shape something that looks like this. So you might want to center this. It's just gonna help us. So bang, center them. Um, select both of these. It's very hard to model because of the flashing. I had using new recorder because the old one I had some sound issues. So once you get something like that, as you can see, we can actually space them out just a little bit more. Something like that, just to get everything in a final shape. Uh, now go to the create on the on the standard primitives and uh, just create a simple tube. I think yeah. Uh, so let's try to go in the middle and uh, just create a tube about that big and about that wide. There we go. And uh, for height doesn't matter. Just kick, kick the height segments to one. Uh, right click, convert to editable poly. Click one and uh, just delete all of these polygons here. So you would get it's kind of beginning. It's like uh, modeling a car. It begins the same. Uh, so just send that it doesn't have to be perfect because it doesn't really matter uh, it's just for these are just for reference so uh, what you can do now is actually just bring that down and I just start aligning them as you can see just one by one slowly it's no way to rush anyway and uh, just keep on doing that we can actually just grab this one and just go right in the corner and uh, just keep on doing that all around so I just don't want to pause it so we can actually see where I put my points at I'm just gonna hit all W for maximized view and uh, just follow the contour of the tube and uh, the reason why we're doing that we can actually do that using splines but I just wanna save geometry I don't wanna use, use up too many polygons so that's the only reason why I'm not doing that uh, just do some like that and I uh, just paste this one here okay <coughs> okay so we've got that uh, keep on going around we're gonna use turbo smooth on that so it doesn't really matter I might I might have just made too many segments a little bit but that's okay uh, doesn't really matter for for us here it's only tutorial uh, just play with the segments and just see uh, for turbo smooth if you want to actually get a nice smooth result you need to least uh, use at least 12 segments sorry about that so you can actually create a tube on 12 segments and uh, just space them out as well so we'll get something like that <coughs> <coughs> real sort of know what's gone to me probably got the cold or something so go to perspective view and uh, just select all of this and uh, just extrude that out and uh, now select all of this and extrude that back as you can see we're starting to get there uh, now we just want to delete these walls here and uh, <coughs> we want to make a copy of it so select as a copy okay and I uh, just drag that out and uh, if you go to the top view or whatever you need to uh, just attach both of them go to your 
rare disease. Oops, just uh, deselect the rare disease. Select both of these rare disease. Just weld them. So you want to have difference by. You just want to have a difference in rare disease. Uh, sorry about that, my Skype. Uh, so go back to perspective. You're gonna add something like that. It doesn't look nothing like it. Not even similarly. So you wanna cap this. <coughs> Probably getting a cold anyway. Uh, you wanna make an inset here. Just see what we can get up to. You. Something like that. Okay. And uh, go to your scale tool. And uh, because it's flat, we can actually just simply scale that. So if we go to the X and scale this, you can see we're getting a nice, nice circle. And the reason why is that because as you remember, we actually started this from a circle, and we just uh, made that wider. So that's the reason why we can actually bring it back to a circle. This might not be perfect circle, but because we're gonna be turbo smoothing it and adding a, uh, and adding all the colors so you really won't be able to see nothing so go to the right view uh, I'm using shortcuts it's very good to actually set your shortcuts up so I just gonna go there actually let's go to the perspective view and uh, just select both of these so loop same with this one just hold control click this and just click loop uh, just drag them out go to the right view now and uh, I just want to rotate it uh, switch your angle snaps on it's gonna help you something like so maybe a little bit more let me just drag that backwards and uh, just maybe rotate five more degrees there we go uh, go to your scale tool and uh, just scale it out there we go that looks good uh, now they're still gonna be selected hold shift and uh, just drag that out something like so uh, go to perspective view that might be a little bit too much something maybe like that uh, <coughs> okay uh, now hold uh, go to scale tool hold shift and uh, just scale them in something like so uh, I'm just gonna get F3 and uh, go to right view again and uh, just drag that in here as you can see and after that make uh, one more copy and uh, just scale that in so I need to go to perspective view to see how much I should scale it in and I'm swapping between wireframe with uh, F3 and uh, edge faces with F4 so just to tell you that uh, let's go to the wireframe and uh, just move that in once again to somewhere here okay so that's what we got so far as you can see uh, what we can actually do is uh, just drag that back to make it a little bit longer it's gonna be a little bit more realistic because when you actually look at the scale yeah it's have to be a bit longer uh, now for them uh, what you wanna do is just select both of them R hit ring uh, hit connect zero slide zero pitch and uh, after you've done that just loop the sides and uh, just scale them in there we go um, we scale the sides in now uh, once you need the reference no more just loop around it uh, hit chamfer and uh, just keep that at one and what if you don't know what chamfer does is actually hardens your edges uh, so do that here as well so jump for them by one same with this loop and uh, jump for I just worked up so my head still doesn't really work too well anyways uh, once we've done that as you can see then actually jump for everything and the reason for that is because just hit loop again and that, 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 that should do it now hit chamfer okay and uh, as you can see there is a big issue here with all our uh, symmetry so select all three of them and uh, just hit weld 
and I uh, should keep all the settings the same so when I just swallow these vertices right over here to get this nice smooth result at the end okay um, go to the back and do the same so select this one this one just loop them around chamfer okay and that just ha hasn't really got any defects for it so once we've done that we can start chamfering the insides so select both of them loop it chamfer and we wanna go down on the chamfers so something like 0 0.29 and same on inside doesn't really matter what's gonna be on the inside so just bring it bring out to one and same here chamfer <coughs> and uh, loop and uh, chamfer this I remember 0 0.29 I believe yeah so here we got a basic exhaust so I'm just gonna extrude this one just delete this and uh, just pull this back as you can see um, go to your scale tool and uh, just scale it around loop it chamfer by one okay and uh, here we've got a basic exhaust pipe so let's try to turbo smooth it see what we're gonna get if we're getting any defects so turbo smooth uh, bring that up to 2 okay uh, we actually st still missing uh, a line right here so what you can do is actually rig it connect and uh, just slide that something like 90 96 maybe maybe just move that a bit in uh, now just rig it connect and uh, just do that in the middle okay and uh, now hold control and just hit on polygon selection they just extrude them just a little bit local normal lo by local normal and uh, something like so uh, let's try to table smooth this one. There we go. Get we're getting this edge as you, as you know on real exhaust. There's actually this edge, a hard edge. So that's what I was aiming for. Oh, you didn't really need one at the back. Nobody will be able to see what at the front. Yeah, this is about it. And uh, I can actually make a quick render. Uh, I'm just gonna make a quick setup. Uh, it's not a real tutorial. I won't be explaining it. I just. As you can see, I added the plane, drag that under the exhaust, something like so. Uh, move that out a little bit. Um, create light, skylight rendering. Uh, common, just I won't change that to mental ray. Okay, still on mental ray, so global illumination, enable final gather. Enable this, scroll up, draft, and uh, just get a nice view from here. Just hit render, and uh, it should render out pretty quickly. There he is. So, as you can see, now all you have left to do is actually, you, you're seeing this, it's not actually an error or nothing like that. The only reason why it's showing it like this, if I just hit M for my material editor, apply the default shader on the exhaust on the tube tube and uh, just select two face two faced and uh, just hit run and uh, just sorry about that I actually press pressed F9 and misposed my video anyway so just hit render again and uh, just hit render and it should come out pretty nicely yes there it is so as you can see this is the final exhaust and all all what you have left to do now is just apply your material so if you want to use chrome just uh just simply write uh, create a new shape